computer drives are available in many different shapes and sizes. These are capable of storing a vast pool of human knowledge. And yet, any one of them might potentially contain a copy of No Man's Sky. Drives are shipped to our company in contaminant-proof packaging. Like the Note 7, this packaging requires a special machine to cut through. With specially designed gloves, workers remove the drive from the packet. The barcode is then verified and removed from all humanity databases. The drive is placed on an automated machine. Inside a vacuum sealed environment, the drives get their first software wipe. After the initial wipe, workers inspect to see any signs of Sean Murray's bullshit leaking from the panel. Then, the drives are placed inside a 1000 degree furnace oven. Now, Tesla's specially designed AI takes over. It blasts the drives with 50,000 watts of anti-radiation therapy. This batch is now ready for the start of the actual wipe. They are placed on a special conveyor belt. This conveyor belt is recycled each week. The old belt is used at the factory of the Cod Collector's Edition. The screws holding the protective plate are unscrewed. These are recycled to be used at nuclear power plants. This cotton filter is removed. Just one of these can power a cigarette factory for an entire year. This is due to absorbing the residual cancer from no man's sky. The drive is then tilted. This counteracts the player tilt while the game was launched. The reader head is then carefully removed. These are purchased by the Russians and used to manufacture advanced weaponry. This is followed by the removal of the second cancer filter. The cap which locks the disc is then removed very carefully. Another robot removes the bottom ring. It is pure uranium at this point. Now the disc itself can be removed. These are then shipped to SpaceX. A single one can power a trip to Mars and back. The chassis is sent to a worker. He removes the magnet which was used to generate procedural generated cancer. Like other workers in the factory, he only has three years of his life left due to the side effects of this job. So the next time you install No Man's Sky, just think of these people who have to fix your mistakes.